Imagine a clock that doesn't just tell time. It tells you how much time you have left. The idea of a death clock has fascinated and terrified people for centuries. Some ancient cultures believed omens or celestial patterns could predict death. Today, scientists are exploring AI-driven models that analyze genetics, lifestyle, and medical history to estimate lifespan. But if such a clock existed, would it be a gift or a curse? Would knowing your expiration date change how you live? Modern science is already inching toward predicting death. Researchers use biomarkers like telomere length, heart rate variability, and even gut bacteria to estimate lifespan. AI models analyze vast amounts of health data to predict disease risks and mortality rates. Some companies even offer death calculators based on lifestyle factors. But how accurate are they? And if they improve, would people want to know their exact time of death, or would it create unbearable anxiety? History is filled with eerie predictions of death. Some people claim to have had premonitions of their own demise, while others have eerily accurate death predictions recorded in history. Mark Twain famously predicted his death would coincide with Halley's Comet, and it did. Some cultures believe in omens, like a bird tapping on a window or a sudden chill. But if science could remove the mystery and give you a precise date, would it take away life's spontaneity? Knowing your death date could change everything. Would people take more risks, knowing they were safe until a certain day? Or would they live in constant fear as the countdown approached? Some argue it could help people plan their lives better, saying goodbye, fulfilling dreams, and avoiding regrets. But others fear it would lead to obsession, paranoia, or even reckless behaviour. If you had the chance to know, would you check the clock? or leave in blissful ignorance. The idea of a death clock forces us to confront our mortality. Whether through science or superstition, the concept challenges how we perceive time and purpose. Some might use it as motivation to live fully, while others might spiral into despair. But maybe the real lesson isn't about knowing when we'll die. It's about making the most of the time we have. So, if today was your last day, would you be proud of how you lived?